Hey, yo, hi, how's it going? How's it going? Is it good? Good? I hope so. <sighs> I've had so much coffee. It's been a long week, okay. Uh, just started a new job, super exciting, hence the word of the day is ambition, because I'm ambitious. It's, it's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be great, I can't wait. That's all you gotta know, it's gonna be amazing. So today we are doing zombie, zombie bite. Part one, I will be doing another one, this is a less gory version, right there. Um, I actually just went out for dinner with my with my friend, and uh, it stayed on because I actually did the video tutorial before dinner, and then went out with this on my arm, so it stays on. It's pretty good. So that's a nice little indication if you wanted to use this for Halloween. It is peeling a little bit. But not too much. I'm so over. I can't deal. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. What's my life coming to? I have to get up at six tomorrow. Not that that's your issue. Mine. Okay. For this tutorial, you are going to need a mauve and berry coloured lip liner, which looks something like this, right here. Rigid collodion and sealer a paintbrush and makeup sponges, my favourite bruise gel in dark red, liquid blood in dark, alcohol based paints, for which colours I used this one right here which is called Lake, and then I used this one called Purple, this one which is called Ochre, and this one, which is called 502, from the Body, Body Illustrator Makeup Extra Palette from Cryolan. And finally, alcohol. Not, not, not the drinking kind. To activate your alcohol activated paints. Yeah, you get me? Okay. Sweet. I used the Bic Activator, um, you can use IPA, um, but this is slow activating, so it's easier to use, um, but you do you, I'll do me. So, let's get on with it, shall we? Yeah? Cool. Start by lightly outlining your teeth marks with your lighter mauve lip liner. Then go ahead and fill in those lines to give those teeth marks some more depth and shape. Then with your darker lip liner, go ahead and outline the sides and the bottom of each mark. And then lightly shade in the center of each molar. Then start going over those marks with rigid collodion. And for a reference, I did nine layers in total. And this is what it looks like after all those layers have dried. And then when you're happy with your layers, go ahead and apply some sealer. Then take your makeup sponge and some tweezers or your fingernails and start picking it apart. Then using your sponge, Go in with some red alcohol-based paint and stipple it around the teeth marks and the surrounding areas. Then taking your dark blue, stipple around the teeth marks, localizing it to that area for the time being. Then go ahead and do exactly the same with the green, but make sure to extend it further out onto your skin to show more signs of infection. I am then going in with that purple and going around those teeth marks and the surrounding skin 
to make it look a little bit more gross, you know? Should I apologize now for the blurriness of this camera? I'll apologize now. I'm so sorry. I'm then taking my paintbrush and going into the grooves of the teeth marks, firstly with red, then with purple, and then with blue. If you want to take away any of that colour from the surrounding paint, you can then go in with a clean sponge and some alcohol and dab away any of the leftover paint that you don't want and add in some paint if you do want. You know, it's up to you. Then go into each of those marks with some dark red bruise gel. You can then finish the look here, or you can carry on with the next steps to make it look a little bit more gory. You can then go into those marks with some liquid blood, I'm using Pro Blood, and then go in with some fixing spray to make that blood disperse. You can use water, but the blood I'm using doesn't set, so it's up to you. Hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe come join the madness give this video a big thumbs up tell your friends if you've got any questions or comments contact me um, or leave a comment below if you've got any requests let me know there will be a part two two to this video next week uh, a more gory version of the zombie bite yeah can't think of anything else. See ya! If you want to know how to remove alcohol-based paints from your skin as well as rigid collodion um, and sealer as well, um, I'm using some spirit gum remover to remove it. Put it on some tissue paper and just rubbing it on it. Though this is now dry so that's pointless. Um, try it again shall we? You take some of your spirit gum remover, put it on the tissue, and then you just rub it all away. Ta da! Amazing. And yeah, that's basically it. So I'll be here doing this. You all go and enjoy your lives. Farewell. Bye bye. <laughs>